Merry Christmas, guys and gals. Welcome back to Kids of Faith Online. My name is Stu, and I am so glad that you are joining us today. And today is really special because we're getting really, really, really close to Christmas. It's only a few sleeps away. Are any of you really excited about Christmas? Hey, me too. I love Christmas. It is a day where we can eat good food, open presents, see family, and so much more. But more than all of that, it is the day we celebrate Jesus' birthday. And one word that comes to mind when I think about Christmas is impossible. Do you know what impossible means? Impossible means it can't happen. For example, it would be impossible for me to run as fast as a cheetah. And it would be impossible for me to grow taller than Mount Rainier. It would be impossible for me to make it stop raining here forever. But nothing is impossible for God. God is the one who created the cheetah and shaped Mount Rainier and turns the rain on and off. And in the Christmas story, God makes something impossible come true. Let's go over to Callie and see if you can spot what happened that was impossible. And let's do that right now. cool surprise that I want to share with you cool guys and gals. I'm in a crazy mood today and I'm excited to show you this project I've been working on all week. So have you guys ever heard of the Guinness Book of World Records? So in this book they have the most wildest things that people did that seem impossible to do. In it there are skateboarding dogs, yes, skateboarding dogs, the world's largest pizza. Can you imagine that? A pizza bigger than a house? Yes, it's not impossible. It actually exists. Friends, there's even a record of the tallest sandcastle ever made. I want to build one of those. I read it's about as tall as three giraffes. There are so many cool things that people did that seem impossible, but they did it. So I thought to myself, Kelly, you're pretty cool, right? And your fans think you're pretty awesome too. Why not try one of these impossible projects? So I did. Are you ready for the challenge? I think you are. I will attempt to solve this Rubik's Cube in record time. Think I can? I will try right after today's Bible story. It's time for our Bible story. Today, we will hear about a very special story. We will learn about an angel named Gabriel. God sent Gabriel to Nazareth to meet a woman named Mary. Mary was about to be married to a man named Joseph. And Gabriel greeted Mary and said, God has blessed you in a special way. God is with you. But Mary was worried. It's not every day an angel pops up and says that. Absolutely. Gabriel knew that she was worried. He said to her, do not be afraid, Mary. God is very pleased with you. You are going to have a baby and you will call him Jesus. Jesus is the son of God. But Mary was confused because she wasn't even married. How could that happen? So then how could she have a baby? Well, God has the power to make it happen. God used the angel to tell Mary that a miracle would happen, but she would have to wait and see how it would happen. God through Gabriel told her, whatever God says will come true. When Mary heard this, she relaxed and promised to serve God. And did it happen like the angel said? You bet it did. Jesus was born even though it was impossible, but that was just the beginning. God was planning and doing even more impossible things through Jesus. And ta-da! I solved it! I actually solved it! And let me tell you, it wasn't easy, folks. Well, I'll let you in on a little secret. I asked my dad to help me. I had been trying it on my own for so long, but I just couldn't wait anymore. I know I didn't do it all by myself, but I'm still gonna call it a win. It's tough waiting sometimes, but it's easier when we know God can do anything. That's what the angel was telling Mary to do. Wait and see. God will do impossible things. Gotta run, friends. Catch you next time on the most left vlog ever, where we break records and grow. Yeah! 
Thanks, Callie and friends. I love the Christmas story. I think it's so cool that God sent a real live angel to talk to Mary. In Luke 1.28, it says that the angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. And this angel told Mary that God has big plans for her. The angel told Mary that she would have a baby named Jesus. And this baby was special because it was God's son. This was an impossible task. But God can make impossible things possible. Mary had to wait and see, but eventually Jesus was born. It's important to note that God is not just a God of the impossible in the past. Wait and see. God can and will do impossible things in our lives too. Our big idea says it best. It says, wait and see. God will do impossible things. You guys pray with me real quick. Dear my Father, thanks so much for this opportunity that we have to gather together around technology and to tell your story, the story of Jesus' birth. Heavenly Father, I pray that the lights and the decorations and the Christmas music and all the tradition that goes with it does not distract us from the fact that Christmas is about your son Jesus' birth. And dear Heavenly Father, I pray that we could celebrate that and meditate that on that fact. Heavenly Father, we love you and we pray all these things in Jesus' name. And all God's people said, amen. Thank you guys and gals for tuning in. We will check y'all next time. Peace.